New details are emerging about what happened when a Spotsylvania deputy opened fire on an unarmed man, leaving him near death. David Turbefill is facing a felony charge of reckless handling of a firearm for the shooting back in April of 2021. In a story you'll see only here on News 4, Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey reports that prosecutors are going to try to show that the first bullet that hit the victim struck him in the back. Today in court, it is the first time Isaiah Brown has seen Deputy David Turbeville since the night the deputy shot Brown, who was unarmed, seven times. Brown was in front of his home talking to 911 dispatchers on a portable phone when Turbeville opened fire, mistaking the phone for a gun. Here's what it sounded like the night of April 21st, 2021. Turbeville shouting commands and begins shooting in a matter of seconds. He's got a gun to his head. Drop the gun now! Stop walking towards me! Stop walking towards me! Stop! Stop! Even prosecutors call the shooting an accident. Earlier, Brown had called 911 during a dispute with his brother and at one point said he had a gun, later assuring the dispatcher he did not. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Nope. Right, where are you at outside? I'm walking down the road. Prosecutors calling Brown to the witness stand to tell his story for the first time. His voice so quiet, it was hard to hear what he was saying. In a surprising new detail, Brown says the first bullet hit him in the buttocks, that his back was turned to the deputy. But Turbeville's attorneys have said that the deputy fired because Brown kept walking toward him, that the deputy felt threatened. Brown's new testimony countering that argument. But then under harsh cross-examination, Brown seemed to contradict himself, admitting he did not stop walking. Defense attorney Andrew Meyer spotlighting the fact that Brown had been drinking heavily and taking sleeping pills that day and night. Meyer challenging Brown's version of events, asking, quote, between the gray goose and the sleeping pills, do you think you could be wrong about getting shot in the buttocks first? Brown replied, no. But prosecutor Elizabeth Humphreys also suggesting the deputy should have done more to determine what Brown was holding in his hand, telling jurors, quote, he never raised the light on his gun to see what was in Brown's hand. She also says the dash cam video will make it clear it was a portable phone, not a gun that he was holding. In Spotsylvania, Virginia, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. Deputy Turbeville is still employed in the Spotsylvania Sheriff's Office, but he is assigned to administrative, non-law enforcement duties.